In Mobile Legends, being able to use many heroes in the game is truly an advantage. It is a big factor in winning the game if you can adjust to your teammates. And to do that, you need to learn many heroes. Don't worry, we will teach you how to play different heroes. But for today, we're going to teach you how to play League. My name is Brian, and this is Yoga Tech Gaming. Link had a huge impact when he arrived in the game. He is one of the heroes that can be called OP or overpowered. Link's ability is just tremendous. He can help a team in almost all aspects. He can push, he can farm well, he can get the objectives done, and most probably, he can kill. That's why like Gushon, he is always bad in the rock games. So now, we will talk about how to use Link effectively. Let's start with the emblem and spell. If you didn't know what the emblems are for, I would recommend you to watch our video for all the emblems in the game so you would be familiar with every emblem for each role. If you use Link, I suggest that you use the critical assassin in emblem but instead of level 3 agility switch it to level 3 mastery that will give you plus 5% of cooldown reduction we usually use level 3 agility for assassins because they need to be fast but like funny Ling doesn't need movement speed because most of the time he will just jump on the walls to reach his destination this critical emblem will help Ling to do more critical damage to the enemy and also the bounty hunter for the talent because we all know that assassins are the ones that are tasked to kill enemy heroes and this will be a great benefit to them and now for the spell I highly suggest that you use Retribution as your spell when you use Ling. This will help him to farm well in the early game and get the objectives done like buff, crab, turtle, and the lord. Now let's talk about what is the proper lane for Ling. Laning of Ling for me is situational. It depends on your team. He can go mid because he can quickly kill minion waves in no time and rotate faster. He can also be on the side lanes. It depends on your team because Ling can excel in the game whether it's in the top lane, bottom lane, or in the mid lane. And now for the builds. I have three kinds of builds for Ling but only one item is different from each other. It consists of Raptor Machete that will help you to kill monsters much faster and will give you an additional damage whenever you kill a monster. And also, the Endless Battle that will be the most beneficial item for Link. Every time he uses a skill, his next basic attack will have an 85% additional true damage. Next is the Wind Token. This will give me more damage to the enemies because it has a passive that every 5 seconds, his next basic attack will hit 3 enemies near him. Next is the Berserker's Fury. This item, as we all know, will give him more physical damage and critical damage. And last for the core item is Blade of Despair. This will give massive additional damage to his stats. And for the last items, you can choose Brute Force or Immortality if you want Link to be more durable. But if you want additional damage, go for the Blade of Heptasis. If by chance, you're not aware of its uses, and you don't know what items to use, we already made videos discussing all the items. Check the link in the description below for easier access. However, items are situational and can be an excellent advantage if you pick the right one that suits your game style. Next is the combos. Again, before we jump right into combos, we will discuss Link's skill first. First of all, his passive, the Cloud Walker. This passive will give him lightness skill that will help him to jump walls to walls. When he's on the wall, he will restore 2 lightness points every second. Also, his passive will give him an extra 40% of critical chance but will lessen his critical damage. Next is his first skill, the Finch Poise. This ability has a passive effect that will give him a permanent addition of 5% of his critical chance. Also, this ability has an active effect that will allow him to jump to walls. But take note that he can still be damaged when he is in these walls. And when he catches a control skill, he will fall onto the ground. He can use this ability consecutively if he has enough lightness points. And now for the second skill, the Defiant Sword. This skill will make him charge in a specified direction and will hit the target enemies. If Ling is on this wall while he uses this ability, he will dash to a specified area on the ground and hit enemies within a circular area. It will also slow enemies that will be hit by this ability. And last is his ultimate skill, the Tempest of Blades. This ability will make him leap and cast his swords for 1.5 seconds, making him invincible and can move to his target. It will damage a lot of enemies that will be hit, and also knock enemies up within the small circular area. After he uses this skill, 4 swords will show, and when he uses his second skill pointing to these swords, his second skill will reset. Now let's jump right into Link's combo. Link's combo is very simple. First, the use of his second skill while on the ground. This combo will help you to kill minion waves much faster or to kill enemies. Next is the use of his second skill while he is on the wall. You can use this to ambush your enemies or to escape. Next is the combo of all his skills. 
the 1, 2, 2, 3, 2. Let me show it to you. As I said, your second skill will reset after you cast your ultimate skill and you charge into the blades in order to maximize the use of your second skill. Lastly are the tips on playing Link. The first tip for me is that you always get the blue buff if possible. Link can be so powerful if he uses the blue buff because it will help him to regen his lightest skill much faster. Second is that you focus on farming in the early game. Link is also a hero that mostly rely on items and it is a must that you build many items for him to dominate the game. And last is that you maximize the use of his ability that he can quickly leap walls to walls, rotate in the game and help your teammates to kill enemies and push towers. And that's it. These are just some tips and tricks on how to play Link. But to be good at this kind of hero, you will definitely need more practice. I hope you learned a lot in this video and if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougatech.com gaming for more news, tips, and tricks. This has been Brian and see you again in the next one.